What are guys coming back with another GTA 5 video? Yes, YT Gaming as uploaded again. I did stream yesterday. If you did uh, go in there, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I am loving what GTA's done with this new DLC. I wish they did this like five years earlier, but because obviously GTA 6 has been announced, they're probably trying to get all the best content and grab all the money what they can from GTA 5. But it would be nice if they did add drift kits on the police cars yes this video is all eight cars what's got the drift kits there's only one new one and the seven are old and i would say they're new but they are old as well from the previous dlc so it is my opinion they're all in order what i like make sure you subscribe like the video and stay subscribed if you like gta or our rainbow six siege this is the channel for you We are in my garage with all the cars in certain orders how i want them to be this is obviously one to eight the first one is my favorite i would say actually has two of my main favorites in this garage and it is the third and the fourth was actually quite decent to get a drift in the futo i wouldn't say i was the three on the opposite side with the futo and obviously cam blocks cars they are nice to drift but the futo is too slider for me and obviously cam blocks cars Especially the truck, it's not got much power for my liking. I wish they there's an upgrade where we can have a bit more horsepower in them cars. Where if you have a long corner, you can't really drift it for so long and that stuff. That's why I've had experience, uh, but I'm not the best drifting person at all. The only time I played any game was I got a drifting involved was actually Juice 2. That's the only time I've ever played drifting games. <coughs> if you know what it is, comment down below. If you don't, then you're young so these two are one of my favorites obviously a lot of modifications for uh, the Ennis Remrus I can't say the name please don't bully in the comments but dyslexia is actually I'm not gonna say the word we've got the Jester slash Supra what everyone knows uh, this car is underrated is I would say it's nearly the first so these two would be, would bow it out. I would say both of them are first place, but we only can have obviously one in first place, so it had to be the Ennis Remus. I can't say the bloody name. And we've got obviously Dinka Jester, and we've got obviously the Euros. This is not the Euro, Euros, Ennis Euros. I'm saying the bloody Lambo truck. Gee, this is one like the third best one. I would say if you've got a bunch of mates. Or you've got the same car you can actually get dk's uh, livery on this car as well if you <laughs> you don't have it and your friends do you can buy it off your friend from the ls car meet i'm swear i'm sure ps4 players now can buy cars from the ls car meet uh, so if you can just let me know in the comments and if you know what game that car uh this new sounds from it's from an old video game and uh, the old gen will mainly know what it is but the new gen you might know but you probably wouldn't know at all so comment below what game this is from and we've got the newest vehicle this is i think this is about 1.6 mil um i would prefer them three over this but i know a lot of people like this car so if you like this car go ahead and purchase it but it is not got many good look, looks for the modifications like the front bumper terrible side skirts not that nice Bad bumper, not nice spoilers, not really that bad, but this is my feeling though. Everyone's got a different taste in cars. And we have got obviously the NS ZR350. One of my favourite looking cars in real life, and one of my favourite looking cars in GTA. Everybody wants one of these. If you are a car person in the UK, mostly young lads will drive this car. One of, it's decent drifting, but I prefer them a lot because they could keep the power and they got the speed. But this is nice as well. I would actually put this uh, near fourth or near the fifth slot. So this is like them. These two here is that pretty much in the same slot. They're both they're both nice to drift. These three though, <coughs> I'm not a massive fan, especially this truck. Not much, not really that much power in the truck to keep uh, the corners going. And keep drifting. The fru uh, the Fruto, uh, Karen Fruto GTX, it's just way too slidey. 
if you can handle it, you can handle it. Congratulations. Has got a lot of modifications. If you have it, you have it. This is one of my clean builds. I prefer it like this. So if you do like this kind of car, go ahead, purchase it. And we obviously got the Ken Blocks RIP to him. One of the best legends we so two legends have made it for the finish line. That's Paul Walker and obviously Ken Block. These are my uh these are one of the best uh in real life, a drift in, but in the video game, I think they've done it quite dirty because they, these two should have a lot of horsepower in them in general. But the truck can't really keep the turning. I've not tried this car, this one over here yet, but I've seen the videos, not many people are liking that one. But I will give it a try later on. I'll type in a comment saying, actually, this vehicle, what is it, drift temper, is actually better. So. <laughs> Comment down below, 1 to 8, which one is your favourite? Obviously, the 8 and the 7 just look the same, uh, but obviously, the 6th, the 5th, and you've got the 4th, 3rd, and you've got the 2nd and 1st. But, <coughs> I'll have all the names of the vehicles on the screen. I'll have all the prices, plus, it'll cost, I'll add it all up total, the, the car and the tuning and like the drift kit so I'm not going to add how much it costs you like with all the upgrades because no one knows how much it will cost you in general because my car is probably different to yours so it will just be the price of the car and the tuning uh, drift kit on the side as well make sure you subscribe like the video comment down below what car is that video game from